The following study is imaging of the Morton's neuroma. Anatomical landmarks here are transverse image over the volar aspect or plantar aspect of the MTP joints just proximal to the articulating surface. In this illustration we see a bulging of the interdigital nerve. At the level of the third and fourth MTP joint we see a hypoechoic space representing a Morton's neuroma that is not quite accentuated without dynamic stress. We'll highlight this structure here in yellow followed by a positive Mulder's sign, which is a squeezing of the foot, bringing the MTP joints together under dynamic stress. As seen here with releasing of the metatarsal heads and forcing back together. Turning the probe to a long axis direction, we notice the hypoechoic space is long and irregular. Using a heel to toe maneuver with the probe will compress the soft tissue surrounding the neuroma to further bring out the differences in tissue interfaces. Here we have another example of a Morton's neuroma highlighted here in yellow, which is also further brought out by a positive Mulder's sign or Mulder's test. Here's a less noticeable Morton's neuroma. Even when the Mulder's sign is applied, the difference in tissue interfaces is not clearly visible until force is applied from the dorsal aspect of the foot with pressure downward towards the probe's surface on the plantar aspect. Forcing these tissues together creates a more noticeable tissue interface. 